people these days have access to an incredible variety of interactive stories and games and animations and other dynamic interactive media on their computers. But there's a problem. In most cases, it's a one-way street. All they get to do is point and click and browse. They don't get to design and create their own stories and games. We've wanted to change that, so we've created a new type of programming language called Scratch that allows everyone of all ages to be able to design and create their own dynamic interactive media and share their creations with others around the world. I like Scratch because it's so easy. You can do great things, uh, complicated projects. With Scratch, kids can create their own interactive games. They can make animated stories. Some kids are creating their own news broadcasts, art, music, and even their own software tools. I made these uh, rocket projects. You can fly around to these different planets and you can answer different quiz question on two of them and uh, you can play a game on one of them and you can go back to Earth also. After they've created their projects, they then share them online with each other and then they can download each other's projects and remix them. I'm most proud of a project called Wodun's World. It was this talk show where I interviewed the little scratch cat and I said, hey, if you want to be on Wodun's World, message me. I, I made that like a year ago. I get about three comments a day asking if they can be on Wodun's World. Since the launch of Scratch in 2007, people have shared almost a million projects. Scratch projects have been created by people of all ages, but it's particularly popular among kids from 10 to 15 years of age. I like the way that people come together and create different games to make something that you would love, but also learn from. So with Scratch 2.0, we are planning to expand the opportunities for young people to create, share, and collaborate on interactive media. Together with the community, we have identified four areas where we want to take Scratch in the future. The first one is to be able to share projects on mobile devices. The second area is to be able to connect Scratch projects to social media environments. The next one is to be able to create and remix seamlessly Scratch projects within the web browser without having to download or upload anything. Finally, the fourth area is to be able to create an environment and provide a platform for people to come together in collaborative teams from people from around the world and build projects together. As we develop Scratch 2.0, we will work closely with the Scratch community members, providing them ongoing opportunities to propose features, test prototypes, and share resources with us and each other. Our ultimate goal is to bring together a worldwide community of creators who are constantly using Scratch to create new projects, share them with their friends around the world, and learn from one another in the process.